Today, we are going to be talking about the central idea of informational text. Um, another way of saying this is the main idea. It's also kind of like the theme of a fictional story. So they, they're very similar, only with the central idea, it's based on the facts of informational text. How do we find the central idea of informational text? Well, step one is that we make sure that we're reading very carefully, that we're paying attention to the title, the headings. These things kind of give you a clue about the main topic. Step two, what is the topic? Ask yourself, what is the main subject or thing being talked about? Step three, find the key points. What are the most important things the author is trying to tell you? And keep in mind, these key points are also going to be talking about the big picture, not an itty bitty detail, but a big picture. And then step four, you're going to connect the dots. How do the facts and the details fit together to explain the big topic? And then go ahead and state your big idea. Put it in your own words. What is the main message or the idea that the author is trying to convey? Next, we have um, a few examples. So we're going to go over those. There is one on the note page. This one is informational text. Bees are important pollinators. They help plants grow by spreading pollen. Many fruits and vegetables depend on bees for pollination. However, the bee population is declining due to habitat loss and pesticide use. What's the big idea of this one? That bees play a crucial role in our food system. But remember, the big idea in the informational text is often the main point or the conclusion the author wants you to understand. It's like a summary of the whole piece. So we wrote summaries with nonfiction, and now we're kind of writing the theme and central idea of informational text. How about which sentence best supports that? Well, if we look at our summary, we directly stated that it, it saves natural resources and reduces pollution, which is sentence number two. So I think it's sentence number two. And then to top it all off, this whole paragraph is all about what? It is recycling. So I think that is the best title. Let's read paragraph two. Oceans cover more than 70% of Earth's surface. They are home to a vast array of marine life from tiny plankton to giant wells. Oceans also play a crucial role in regulating the Earth's climate. They absorb heat from the sun and store carbon dioxide, helping to keep our planet's temperature stable. Well, this paragraph is about the oceans. It supports a large, I mean, it's large. Vast means it's large. Um, so it supports a lot of water animals, marine life. It also plays a role in regulating the Earth's climate. And you know what? The last sentence is kind of an example. So I think that our summary should be about the ocean, that it supports a lot of marine, and that it helps control our environment. Let's see what they got. They said, oceans are essential for regulating the Earth's climate and supporting a diverse marine ecosystem. Boy, we're doing great. Which sentence best supports this idea? Sentence one, sentence two, sentence three, or sentence four? Well, I have to be honest. I really think if we could combine sentence two and three, that would be the best answer. But I already know that the answer they gave was sentence three. But if you want to put on your paper that it's sentence two and three, we're totally okay with that. And then what kind of title would we give this? Hmm, I think this is all about the ocean. Simple title, get direct, the ocean. Let's try paragraph three. 
Thomas Edison was a prolific inventor who made significant contributions to the modern world. He is best known for his invention of the light bulb, but he also developed many other important devices, including the photograph, the motion picture camera, the electric power grid. Edison was a tireless worker who conducted countless experiments. His persistence and ingenuity led to many groundbreaking discoveries. So let's see. We know it's about Thomas Edison. So we're going to mention him. He was an inventor. His persistence and ingenuity, which means that he never gave up and he was really smart. So I think that would be a great summary, but let's see what they put. They said, Thomas Edison was a really smart guy who never gave up. He came up with lots of cool new things. Well, we kind of said the same thing, just not as cool. And which sentence from this paragraph would support that idea the best? Sentence one, two, three, or four. Now, remember, we said that he was really smart and he never gave up. So do we have a sentence that talks about that? Look at that. We sure do. Which sentence do you think best supports? You are correct. It was absolutely sentence four. You know, it says he was persistent. That means that somebody never gives up. His ingenuity leads to groundbreaking discoveries. That means that he created new things. That's, that, that's, that's a great sentence to support. So what could be a possible title? What's simple and direct? You got it. Thomas Edison. Good job. Now that your notes are complete and you have worked on the matching game with your table group, it is your turn. Go back to the Canvas assignment and complete the independent work using the examples that we came up with. 